Now let's take a look and see how they figured out the distance to the sun. Now this is something that it took people, wow, almost 2,000 years to figure out correctly. But it started somewhere. It started back in the days of the Greek. And again, Aristarchus is the one who really started this whole process and came out with a, a number. It wasn't bad. It was actually far off, but it was just really an amazing thing to do. And what he did was this. He observed the moon and the cycles of the moon. And at a point where the moon was exactly lit in such a way that we saw exactly a half a moon. So when you look at the, from the earth to the moon, and the sun is right here at right angles between the moon, the earth, and, uh, and the sun like this. The moon will be exactly half lit as seen from the earth. And then he figured that the angle made from the sun to the earth would enable him to figure out the distance to the sun. So what he had to do is he had to wait until the moon was in the exact position where he felt that the, that the shadow of the moon was exactly halfway on the left side and the sun side of the moon was exactly halfway on the right side. He then went ahead and looked at the position of the sun relative to the position of the moon and he figured that this angle right here was an 87 degree angle. Now, back then, looking at the sun, looking at the moon, trying to come up with that angle, that was not an easy thing to do. And from that, he was able to calculate this angle right here. And that's the important angle, of course. Then he said, well, this angle, therefore, must be equal to 90 degrees minus 87 degrees, which is equal to 3 degrees. And then he realized from geometry, because back then they did not yet know trigonometry, so they didn't know what the sine and the cosine and the tangents were, but they had the similar understanding using trigonometry and using triangles and angles and they figured out that the ratio of the distance from the earth to the, to the moon divided by the distance from the moon to the sun which is what he was after had to be equal to the ratio of that angle right here the three degree angle divided by the number of degrees in the radian so he said that must be equal to about three divided by 57.3 which is about equal to 1 over 20. Now these are of course rough estimates. So what he concluded based upon that was that the distance from the moon to the sun was about 20 times the distance from the moon to the earth. Now of course we know today that's not the case. Today we know that it's about 400 times, about 20 times as much. But the ability to measure these angles was very difficult. The ability to measure this angle right here was in that time a very difficult task to accomplish. But the fact that he tried it, and the fact that he actually came up with a, a reasonable result, was amazing. Now, of course, we had already figured out the distance from the Earth to the Moon based on the ratio of the, the shadow, the cone of the shadow, knowing the diameter of the cone at the end and the length of the cone. The same kind of thing where you went ahead and you put a little coin in front of you, blocking out the Moon like that, and you measure the, the uh, distance, you measure the angle right there, and they realized that if you take this little triangle here, that the length of this triangle would be 108 times the diameter or the width of the triangle at the end like that. And of course, they figured out the same ratio would be true for the moon like that, that the diameter of the moon relative to the distance of the moon was also a 108 to 1 ratio. So from that, they had to figure out the distance to the moon, and they were actually fairly close to the real value, around 245, 250,000 miles. Now, from that, they then concluded that the sun was 20 times as far, and so therefore 20 times 250,000, so about almost 5 million miles. So they estimated that the distance of the sun was somewhere between 4.5 and, and 5 million miles. So again, in terms of the size of the universe, that was an enormous accomplishment. They knew that the Earth was about 8,000 miles across. They knew that the Moon was somewhere between two and 3,000 miles across. They knew it was about 250,000 miles to the Moon. And now they figured it was about 4 or 5 million miles to the Moon. An amazing, I mean, to the, to the Sun, not to the Moon, but to the Sun. An amazing accomplishment. Later on, of course, they would come up with better and better methods to figure out the distance of the Sun, and they improved upon that. For, for the next almost 2,000 years, no one improved upon this method, and no one is able to figure out the distance of the sun any better than Aristarchus did. Not until about the 1500s, 1600s, did people begin to devise methods to come up with more accurate measurements. And if you're interested in what those are, then stay tuned and come to the next video and see how they did it then.